Hey guys, thanks for watching. In today's video, we are filling up my new closet from Ikea. I have a PAX system and I am so ready to see this thing filled up. If you've been following along, then you know I was waiting for the shoe shelves. Now those are in and I finally have like the time to do this. So I cannot wait to just show you start to finish how I lay everything out. Um, I'm gonna show you the rest of the closets too and kind of just like what's going on around me, how I'm doing this. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and find it helpful, inspirational, and motivational all that stuff if you do please give it a like don't forget to consider subscribing if you're new here and you want to join our fam i would love to have you lastly if you write a comment down below i will get back to you if you have any questions or anything you want to say i would love to hear from you guys and let's get started so here is the PAX system that I chose. This is what it looks like. And again, these are fully customizable. So when I went to Ikea, they had these computers in the closet section. And then you just play with the layout and size and whatever works for you. And then they have you pay for it. And at like the loading station, they will put everything on a shopping, like a flat shopping cart for you. So they get all the pieces for you, which is really nice because you don't have to worry that you forgot something. Um, and that is it. So it's just like super duper easy. I feel like you can probably figure these out online too, but I did it in store. So I'm going to show you guys what I chose. Three standard drawers and all of these are soft clothes, which is really cool. I have two of these see-through ones. I love these so much. I feel like it looks like a store. So I have those and then I did a tray right here. And all of these are an insert that's just like an extra thing that you pop on there. They do have a few different styles, but these were the only ones in stock when I went. And I thought they'd be fairly versatile, so that's what I chose. And right here is a see-through shelf, so that way I can see everything that's in there. I only did one hanging rack since I have hanging space in the other closet. And up here is a shorter shelf and then a bunch of shelves on this side. And all of these, I'm sure you guys can see these holes here. So they can go up and down. I need to get like fillers for these holes. Um, I couldn't find them online. So the next time I'm there in store, I'm gonna see if they have them. So yeah, there's four shelves right here. And then down here, I have three shoe racks. I believe there's three or four options um, for this style of shoe racks, but these are the ones that I chose. I just liked the all white flat ones. And then there are these bars right here. So your shoe sits like this. Oh, I guess there's a pair hiding back there. I was testing them out. Um, these don't fit a ton of shoes. I'd say at the most three across, probably two, but I still wanted a couple of those. Um, and this is actually like a tray. It's the same style shelf or drawer as this. So everything's just like really versatile. I cannot recommend these enough, you guys. I'm so excited. I always, always wanted one of these. So yeah, um, I'm also gonna show you guys, if you didn't see the video I did on this, I will have a link for it down below, but I fully redid this. So I'm gonna have all the dresses, as you can see in here. I have like the office stuff over here. Um, I have sweaters up there and just like a few more files and makeup and stuff. I don't think I've ever shown the guest room. It's never really been done, but everything that was on the old shelves before I had the pack system, I basically just like threw it in here so I could fill up the packs when it was ready. So all this stuff is gonna go in there. I have a bunch of shoe boxes and shoes over there. Shoes in the other corner. Like there's just kind of stuff everywhere in here that's supposed to go in the packs so all of this will be finally fixed and taken care of today and this is my closet in our bedroom i let this get just completely destroyed because i knew i'd be pulling almost everything out of here and a lot of my husband's stuff is going to go in here so that's what that's looking like on our bed i just started folding some of my laundry so i can get that stuff put away in the pack system too i just want to have like as much laundry done for myself at least as i can so i have a good idea of how much space i'll actually need for everything that was kind of a lot i know but i just have so many small closets as you guys can see um so i probably will still keep bras underwear and pajamas in the smaller dresser in our bedroom and then everything else in here i feel like that makes the most 
sense. So let's get started. So for any of you guys that are considering a PAX system, I totally recommend that you go on Instagram and search hashtag PAX. There's like a few hashtags, hashtag IKEA PAX, um, and just see the layouts that other people have chosen for themselves. It's so helpful because there's just so many different options. Some people wrap an entire room in this or an entire wall. I have a fairly small one as you can see, but the options are so endless and it's just really helpful seeing what works for other people. So in this drawer, I'm going to put a lot of accessories. I'm going to do the earrings in the back and the necklaces in the front and then you guys will see what I put on the sides in just a minute. But as so many of you know, I love to mix things up and try a new thing every once in a while. So eventually I might put some makeup in here. I'm really not sure, but for right now, I thought this was perfect for accessories. And for these drawers, they also offer these clear plastic separators. It turns it into a bunch of small squares. So if you have like a lot of belts, a lot of people really enjoy those for their belt collection. But I just love these inlays. And almost all of the earrings that you guys see are either from Target or I bought them from Nordstrom Rack and also online on Amazon. But I really don't spend a lot of money on earrings at all. The most expensive ones are probably like $30 or less, so everything is super affordable. One last tip for you guys, they do sell these with doors as well, it's just an add-on. There are a few different options for doors as well, some you can see through and some you can't. So if you like everything completely shut away, that's an option for you, but I love seeing everything at the same time without doors. I just feel like I'm walking into like a little store or something, so that's just what works for me. I swear the more filled I get, the more excited I get. I'm only like five minutes in and I'm already just like so pumped. Seeing my stuff in here finally. So right here, um, I have some necklaces, an A necklace, and then a lot of like simple small necklaces. And then in the back here, a lot of earrings. Um, in the way back are like simple bracelets and earrings. I don't wear that often. And then right here are things that are new or things I wear on a daily basis. So I just have a rep bracelet from Tori Birch that's getting very old i need to get another one of those but a bunch of sugar fix earrings i just got and these ones are from kate spade i get a lot of questions on those because i wear them so often so yeah i'm gonna go get some sunglasses and start filling up the rest If you've been with me a while, you know I'm all about the dupes and look for less. So these Gucci dupes, the black ones, are 20 from Free People and the real ones are 550. And then these heart ones I just featured in my last video. It's an Amazon spring haul. I have so many amazing recommendations in that video. So it will be linked down in the description box for you. But those are only 10 and they are a dupe for a YSL pair that are $450. So I have a lot of recommendations for you guys that will save you so much money as you can tell and right here is all of the extra skincare and makeup so that is the backups and just products I don't use on a daily basis and now I'm finally going to get into the shoes I was so looking forward to having a shoe area in here and even though it's winter right now spring is right around the corner at least it should be so I'm going to put all of my favorite spring shoes on those shoe shelves
I also have a random idea, but I'm sure I will get a lot of questions about where things are from in this video, like shoes and things like that. So if you guys would like me to film a walkthrough where I link to everything and show it to you individually, let me know if that would be helpful. Um, I just like am anticipating a lot of questions, like where are those shoes from? Where is this from? Where is that from? So let me know if you guys would find that helpful. And if you are enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and if you subscribe if you're new um yeah and write a comment down below too because one of my absolute favorite things about filming videos and posting them is talking to you guys in the comments so i would love to hear from each and every one of you you're calling i'm falling don't know what it is you do to me yeah there you go. I follow. Here's the painting I showed you guys on my Instagram story while I was shopping at Home Goods, and I told you guys I really wanted this. I thought it was so perfect for my office, but her hair is blonde. At least 30 or 40 of you guys sent me a message and told me I should paint her hair brunette, so that's what I'm going to do. I just thought that was so funny that so many of you said the same exact thing. I felt like it was a sign, so I ended up picking it up, and eventually I'd really like to do handbag hooks on the side of this. Um, I just feel like it's kind of a a waste of space right now so hopefully one day I will get to that but for right now I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to lay them out on these shelves so right now I'm playing around until I find the perfect fit And here's a few things going on the top shelf. So that is a jewelry organizer from Home Goods. Those are things I don't wear that often. That's why it's going to be out of reach. And some lipsticks from Bare Minerals. I likely will stick some shoes up there too. I'm sure Chad will be very happy that I found a new home for this guy. I made this in a video such a long time ago. It has to be at least one year ago, but I think right there would be really cute. And we're about to start hanging stuff up. So I bought hot pink hangers um, from Home Goods. It's a pack of 25 for $10. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I wish that the hangy part was like a gold color instead of silver, but not a big deal. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
Home Goods is just such a good place to look for hangers that are really cute and really affordable. I swear I'm back on like the Home Goods grind of talking about Home Goods nonstop in my videos, but I just find so many really cute things there that I want to share with you guys. And originally, I almost got a simple hanger, like a nude or a light pink, something just like fairly neutral, but I'm so happy that I got these hot pink ones because they just pop so well off of the white surround, and I'm all about like a pop of color i just think it's so fun and fresh and feminine so i'm really happy i ended up with these i'm super excited about it as you can see So sweaters are next, that's going to be the first see-through drawer at the very top and I am still sticking with the KonMari method. I still see so many questions asking how that's going. I honestly really like it. I love seeing everything at the same time and it probably will surprise you guys. I'm not doing this from lightest to darkest in the drawers. I kind of just have them all over the place. Some fun colors in the front, fun colors in the back and I'm just so obsessed with pops of color so I think it looks really fun this way. I'm just gonna fold a bunch of these take them off the hangers sometimes I go through phases where I want everything hanging up and then sometimes I want everything folded so with the Kanmari thing going on right now I just want to see as much stuff folded as I can an update again so I'm just folding sweaters right now um, as far as the cardigans go I might hang those up in here I'm not sure yet I just want to see of course like how much room I have first um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now some sweaters over here And then all the black hangers are going in our bedroom closet if I need some and there I'm doing the black in there, too But here's just a preview of what's going on That dress is another thing I just showed in my Amazon spring video. Really cute and really affordable. So check that video out down below after this one. Here's a pair of jeans that are like so destroyed and ripped up. I don't wear those out in public, but I love wearing those around the house. They're just so comfortable. And I'm referring back to the KonMari method on my Pinterest. I know I've said this in a few videos, but I always have my Pinterest below for those KonMari method pins because I honestly refer back to those like almost every time I'm folding laundry. I've only been using this method for a few weeks. So I feel like sometimes I need a refresh that's down there if that will help you too in the description box and I really thought this drawer would be like half denim at the most but as you guys will soon see it's completely filled I swear I just feel like I have so much more stuff than I ever realized Keeping me 
Swimsuits are next on the list, and these are going to go in that basket. It is from Home Goods. Surprise, surprise. Um, so I'm just stacking the two pieces, the tops and bottoms, on top of each other and lying those flat in the baskets. And then I'm going to fold the one pieces in the back of it. And any swimsuits that don't fit in here, I'm getting rid of because I think there's at least 15 swimsuits in there by the end of this. So I feel like that is plenty for anybody, especially for me. And it's something that I would have out seasonally. So so I wouldn't keep this here in the winter time, but again, it's spring and summer is very soon. So I feel like this is the perfect time to have all of these um, just extremely accessible in the bottom drawer. Guys, does anyone remember the Triangle swimsuit brand? They were really popular, gosh, like four or five years ago. I remember I wanted one so bad and it was so overpriced. I think it was like $75 or something ridiculous. And I bought one and I'm just like, why did I do that? But I wanted one of those so bad. They are a neoprene, so it's like super thick and very warm. I don't recommend them. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to wear it again, but I'm just holding onto it because I spent so much money on it. I decided to put the cardigans on the left side. A lot of you have also told me to put the drawers in the middle, so that way I can use the hanging space on the left, which is exactly what I'm doing. And then in here, I'm going to do skirts and shorts, and I can't remember what else, but you guys will see that very soon. So moved on, but still I hear that song, it lingers so all right, it is time for the walkthrough now. I know this video has been fairly long, so I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. So I'm gonna start on the bottom drawer, which is what you guys saw last. And the first thing is swimsuits, of course. And here is the belts and scarves. And here is hair accessories. Um, I probably will keep hair extensions here too. It's just so much easier. I just got this from Target. How cute is that for spring? It comes in a few colors. Um, and then right here are these organizer trays um, from Home Goods. And I don't know what else to put in here, but again, I'm sure I will figure it out in the next few weeks. So that is that drawer. And then here is the t-shirts and tank tops. And I really need some t-shirts, so I'm sure this will fill up soon, but I just have white simple ones and some graphics, stripes, pink ones, black ones. Um, and then right here is just like simple tank tops, tank tops that I wear as an undershirt or just like around the house. And in here are skirts, which you guys saw already. Um, right here are shorts that are not a denim material. Same with pants that are not a denim material. And then over here are very thin sweater shirts. Um, I really need like flowy pants and just like fun um, and like really breezy like spring and summer pants. So I'm sure that will fill up in no time as well. And in this drawer is all the denim. I do have a few downstairs in the laundry, so that will be filled up soon. The shorts I started to put like um, the opposite way. So I might keep those going as like an in-between row. I'm not quite sure how I want to do the denim shorts yet, but for now, that's what that drawer is looking like. And in this drawer are all of my sweaters. And I know spring and summer, of course, are coming, um, but I feel like I always have a sweater with me in case I get a little bit cold, especially after the sun goes down. I feel like I always need a sweater, so all of those are in there. And then in this drawer, I have the necklaces, which you guys saw, the earrings, sunglasses, um, the everyday accessories. This one's open for sunglasses if I get a few more pairs or just whatever. I love having like an empty space. And then up here are all the fun tops and just like things that are really vibrant and colorful patterns. It's basically just things I love to look at, um, which probably isn't like the most practical thing, but honestly, I just feel like 
people always have like the neutrals and the nudes and the light pinks but i just wanted like a pop of color up there i do have a few extra hangers and at the very very top are just a few more pairs of shoes some extra accessories high up there is a shoe box from tori birch and behind it are several shoes i don't wear that often so it's just a cute way to hide that um, a few handbags right here, some tote bags, and then a smaller bag. And this is that home goods picture. I haven't had a chance to paint her hair yet, but I'm going to. I will let you guys know how that goes. Um, a few more handbags right here, a wallet, a little holder for rings. And then down here is a new pair of shoes. I just got those um, for Valentine's Day from Chad. And then a small tote bag, another bag from Tory Burch. I have the dust bags in those. Um, a pair of high heels, a Tory Burch thing for a bracelet, fake flowers. Down here is the first shoe rack. So that's that one. This is what the next one is looking like. And this is the very last one and we redid this closet together in another video so we'll keep it short but i still have the dresses right here i moved this guy to the middle and then over here is where i'm going to store the cardigans um i wore that one last night so i need to put that back but yeah that's the update i did in there and that is all for today's video guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload thank you so much for spending the time with me today i really appreciate each and every one of you guys and i will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye